Sir Jayaratnam. Um, now that the sample counts have been out for quite a few of the constituencies, your thoughts on the sample count? Well, obviously, um, you know, we were aware from the uh, from the beginning that um, it didn't. We saw this coming because uh, we didn't get the big influx of volunteers and um, helpers coming forward that we got in 2011. In fact, it was very quiet, and um, uh, um, we saw. Uh, Basically, we, we put this down to the novelty wearing off uh, of a new party. But now I see it's abs you know it's across it's absolutely nationwide. There's been a huge swing to the PAP. Uh, we weren't helped by the fact that we lost Clementi, uh, uh, a ward in which we scored particularly highly in the last election. Um, what I can say is that. Uh, this is not, a, uh, as far as I'm concerned, this is not a mandate for the PAP's economic policies. Uh, we had a better manifesto, uh, a better economic plan. All this, in, all this is is a mandate for authoritarianism and brainwashing. It shows what you do when uh, you control everybody's housing, you uh, control their savings, uh, you control... Uh, you. Uh, control their jobs because you're the major employer, uh, you control all the media, and uh, there's no independent elections department. Uh, so all I see is uh, similar margins in North Korea and, and China. It's just like a, the Chinese Communist Party. And, um, you know, I, or, I, I, I guess Singaporeans get... Um, the government they deserve. So um, I don't want to hear any more complaints. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mr. Jaratnam. And that was Kenneth Jaratnam, the Secretary General of the Reform Party, commenting on the sample count results. Back to you in the studio.